All right, so today we're going to go over um, how to build the darkness sensor. And the darkness sensor is based on two basic principles. One is the concept of a voltage divider. So the first thing we'll do is we'll set up the voltage divider. Now notice I've got my, uh, my voltage regulator right here. And what this will do is this will put out, set to put out five volts on each rail. Okay. Now my breadboard has a break right there, so that means that power is only coming in halfway on each side. So it stops right there. So all my power connections have to be on this side of the rails, or I'm going to have to jumper it. So I'll keep them all on this side so I don't have to do any weird jumpers. Um, so first of all, let's look at the concept of a voltage divider. Now a voltage divider is very simple. And I, th I think some of you all have uh, uh, kind of... Uh, tried to make it harder than it is. A voltage divider is simply two resistors in series usually going from the positive rail to the negative rail. Okay, so here's what we'll do. We'll show you a voltage divider. So um, these two resistors are the same value and it really doesn't matter what they are. We can measure it. Um, let's measure them, see what they are. I've got my multimeter set to resistance. So we'll Take our resistor and measure it, and it's set to kilo ohms. So these are 4.7 kilo ohm resistors, and it doesn't really matter what they are as long as they're the same. Okay, so I'm going to do a uh, put one in the positive side, and the other side is going to go on the board. Doesn't really matter where on the board. Um, the other resistor is going to come, so see it's in the in the positive hole there, and it goes out onto the board. So the second resistor is going to connect with the first one on its terminal strip, and it is going to come back to the negative rail. Okay, so that is all a voltage divider is. Okay, and so we can actually measure this. I'll turn my probe to voltage. And now we'll measure the voltage on the rails themselves. Okay, so if I push in there, then it'll show me that I have 5.01 volts. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the voltage at the point of the voltage divider. It's got to be on the same terminal strip as these guys. So I'll put one, that will be my positive, and the other one will just go in the negative rail. I'll push on real hard, 2.5 volts. So I've got that divided right in half. So that's all a voltage divider is. You have two resistors in series, and they divide the voltage between them. That's the same ratio as the ratio of the resistor values themselves. Okay? So now, um, many times we have sensors that are simply variable resistors. So this is a photoresistor. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Um, so that is a photoresistor. And what it does is it changes its resistance based on the amount of light. Okay, so what we'll do is I'll show you, we'll move, change our um, or box back to resistance. So we'll measure this in the light and it has about so this particular one only has three kilo ohms of resistance in the light. Okay so now let's now if I cover that let's see if I can get this to connect while I cover it, maybe not. I'll just turn off the light. So this isn't total darkness, but it's a lot darker. And if I measure it now, it's measuring at 12 kilo ohms. Okay. 
when that's in partial darkness. And in total darkness, I actually have to bump up my... Uh... So in total darkness, it actually goes up to 87 kilo ohms. Okay, so with the lights on, Lights on, it can be really, really low resistance. But with the lights off, it goes up really high. Okay, so now we can't read a resistance directly. What we can read are voltages. So the way that we read this voltage is by putting it in series with another resistor. And so what will happen is as this resistance changes, so we'll have these two resistors, as this resistor changes, it will change the ratio between the two resistors, which will change the voltage at the point of, of division, okay? So this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor. So I'll measure that, turn this to, it's already on resistance. So I'll measure the resistor. It measures 9.87, okay? So right around 10 kilo ohms. And I found that that's pretty close to the cutover spot. Well, we'll talk about that later. But it's, it gives us a pretty even match for a large part of the range of our dark of our photoresistor. Okay, so this will connect this to positive. And this will just come out onto the board. And then we'll connect this guy from that resistor back to negative. All right, so you see? All right, so we've got, so we've got the second voltage divider. And so now let's measure the voltage that's coming out at the middle. So in the light, it's about 1.5 volts. And in the darkness, it jumps up to 2.8 volts, okay? So up to 3 volts, okay? So you see that it jumps back and forth, the voltage does, okay? Now the voltage is a value that I can check. So what we introduced today is a component called a comparator. This is the LM... Uh, 393, and so right there, you can see that little notch, and pin one is always to the left of that notch. Okay, so we'll put this in our board, stick it in right up here, stick it in gently, and we do it across, we do it across the bridge so that each pin has its own terminal strip to connect to. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to compare the outputs of our two voltage dividers. Okay, so this voltage divider, our first voltage divider we made, if you remember, divides the voltage exactly in half. Okay, now this is a dual voltage comparator. Okay, so it has several, so um, on the left side is one voltage comparator and on the right side is another one. This chip is powered, okay, it's a powered chip, so the so we need a positive voltage and we need a ground. So we'll run the positive voltage from this side and the uh, pin that does it is this upper right pin, it's where we put the power, okay? But we also need a ground. And the lower left one, is where the ground connection is. So we'll just put a little jumper from the lower left to the ground. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll plug this one into one of the comparator inputs. Okay, so that leg is an input. And then we will plug 
the other voltage divider, the output of the other voltage divider into the other input. Okay, and so what this will do, this will compare which voltage is greater. So as as this voltage divider, because the photoresistor swings back and forth, it goes back and forth between being more and less than this reference voltage. Okay, so it goes, so this voltage divider is going back and forth, and this voltage divider is keeping steady, and this chip will tell us which one is higher and which one is lower. Now, the one tricky thing about this chip is that this chip does not have um, a normal type of output. You know, usually when we think of outputs, we think about something actually putting something out. But this uh, chip actually, instead of actually having an output, it has uh, what's called an open collector output, which means that it has um, two states. Um, it'll output either a zero voltage or it will simply disconnect the circuit if um, uh, the other way, okay? So, I, I mean, technically that's the positive side, the positive voltage, but it doesn't actually give you a positive voltage. It just disconnects the circuit so that you can supply your own positive voltage. And so for this, we need the pull-up resistor. So if you remember us talking about the pull-up resistor, what a pull-up resistor will do is it will supply voltage um, in the case that um, this is disconnected and it will keep from having a short circuit when we do connect that to ground. So it's like our switch that goes to ground. So what we'll do is we'll put this resistor in here and uh, this can be pretty much any value. Uh, 3K is probably a 3K resistor. 3,000 ohms is probably best. Um, so we'll put this onto the board. Okay, and so what we'll do, I'm having trouble seeing. There we go. Okay, so that, that resistor simply goes from the positive rail onto the board. And what we'll do is we will have an LED um, so let's move this a little bit more sideways so we have a little bit more room to work with. This guy a little further out. And then I can just put this guy from there to there. Okay, so that guy's lighting up. So this is just a normal LED circuit, right, at this point. So we have uh, this guy going from the positive rail onto the board, and then the LED coming from the board to negative. Okay, so it lights up. So now what we're going to do, so as I said, this guy goes to zero volts, um, depending on which of these, why is that happening? Oh, it's because they're, okay. So this guy goes to zero volts, depending on which of those is active, which, which of those is higher. And so when this guy goes to zero volts, if we take a connection from here to the output, then when this is at zero volts, this will turn off because it'll be easier for the electricity to pa pass through here directly to zero volts rather than having to go through the LED, okay? And so, this is actually the opposite of what we want. We want the light to turn on when it gets dark. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap our inputs. Okay, so now the light is off and the reason why it's off is because it is outputting zero volts here. Okay, so the power comes from the positive rail through the resistor now, it can go one of two ways. See, both of these are connected to the end of the resistor. It can either go across the LED to the negative, or it can go around here through our voltage comparator. 
Well, when the voltage comparator is at zero volts, this is the faster way. This is the easier way, because this is already at zero volts, and this guy has a voltage drop. So in order to go across this guy, you have to be at more than zero volts. So I'd rather go through here. Um, but when it goes high, then this circuit disconnects. And when this circuit disconnects, that means that this is free to go across the LED. Okay, and so when you change the when you change the uh, um, when you change the amount of resistance of this photoresistor, it will change the amount of voltage on this voltage divider. And when it changes back and forth between which one of these is more positive, it will flop this from being on to being off and back and forth. So that is how our um, that is how our darkness sensor works. So basically, there's um, there's a, there's two voltage dividers, one of them with a sensor. Then there is this. Remember, this is called a pull-up resistor. And then there is a, a voltage comparator that is um, making the circuit operate. So um, now I'm doing this with the five volt regulator. The circuit works exactly the same with nine volts because these just put it in a ratio. So even whether it's a nine volts or five volts, they'll all still have the same ratio.